Hello everyone, for today's video, we're going to discuss an introduction to CPH. If you're ready, then let's start. The public health worker's goal in community-focused care is to enhance healthcare services and patient outcomes in targeted populations by applying public health theory on a local, personalized level Community health providers can cater services to a specific demographic and bring a sense of wellness to communities that would otherwise lack proper access to care. Thus, we have the following objectives. First is to describe the concepts and principles of community and public health. Second is to differentiate between community health and personal health, between community health and, and public health. Next is to discuss the history of community health and public health. Next is to list the serious health problems facing communities in the 1990s and early 2000s. And lastly, to offer an outlook for community health in the 21st century in the world and the Philippines. Next is our topic outline. So first we have the definition of terms. Next are the factors that affect the health of a community. We also have a brief history of community and public health and outlook for community health in the 21st century. Community health programs address disparities by ensuring equitable access to health resources. Such disparities include living in an isolated rural area with limited health care providers or being unable to afford health insurance. Community health centers often serve as the primary care provider in communities where health equity is limited by socioeconomic factors. According to Ann Bowling in 1991, so we have negative and positive health. Negative definition of health and well-being uh, is where an individual believes they have a good state of health and well-being because they have nothing wrong with them, such as uh, no physical illness, disease, injury, mental stress, free from pain and discomfort. So individuals with this view uh, regard good health as normal and do very little to maintain their health and well-being. They believe not visiting a general physician for years is an indicator of good health. So they would not consider themselves ill if they feel a little run down, tired, depressed, have a cold or a headache. While well, positive definition of health, on the other hand, is where an individual is achieving and maintaining a healthy lifestyle by being physically fit, and having a good mental health so the individual regards the things they can do well such as walking running having an active lifestyle and feeling well as an indicator of uh, good health and well-being And positive health also measures the quality of life, measurements, disability adjusted life, year or the daily, and then sickness impact, impact uh, profiles. So the disability adjusted life year or the daily is a measure of overall disease burden. It's expressed as the number of years lost due to ill health, disability or early death. Originally developed by Harvard University for the World Bank in 1990, and then the World Health Organization subsequently adopted the method in 2000. So the daily is becoming increasingly common in the field of public health and health impact assessment or the HIA. It extends the concept of potential years of life lost due to premature death. To include the equivalent years of healthy life lost by virtue of being in states of poor health or disability, in so doing, mortality and morbidity are combined into a single common metric. So traditionally, health liabilities were expressed using one measure or the expected or average number of years of life lost. So this measure does not take uh, any impact of disability into account which can be expressed by years lived with disability or the YLD 
So, the dailies are calculated by taking the sum of these two components in a formula. Day A L Y is equal to Y L L plus Y L D. So, the daily relies on an acceptance that the most appropriate measure of the effects of chronic illness is time, both time lost due to premature death and time spent disabled by disease. So, one daily, therefore, is equivalent to one year of healthy life lost. So, Japanese life expectancy statistics are used. In order for us to have a good understanding of CPH, then first we have to define some important terms. If I ask you how you can say that a person is healthy, a lot of people would probably say a person is healthy if they are free from injury, free from illness, or from pain. So the World Health Organization gave a very good definition of health. It says that uh, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. It means that even if a person is free from injury, illness, or pain, they may not necessarily be healthy. There should be a good balance between the person's physical, mental, and social well-being. Think of it this way. Uh, if a person is experiencing pain physically, then it will affect his or her mental state and once his or her mental state is affected, then it will also eventually affect his or her relationship with people or the other way around is also applicable. So if a person is involved in a toxic relationship, then the person will become anxious, possibly depressed, and later on, because of that mental state that he or she is in, he or she might develop physical illness uh, brought about by that impaired mental state. So basically, a person can only be considered healthy if there is a good balance of his or her physical, mental, and social well-being because of uh, relation, our relationships also affect our mind and our body or vice versa. There is another definition of health in which health is defined as multidimensional and it is determined by political, socio-economic, cultural, environmental, philosophical, vocational, and nutritional factors. So this means that health is a wide aspect covering almost every aspect of an individual. And according to Wood and Patrick that there are certain sets of characteristics of an individual such as death, disease, impairment, functional limitation, discomfort, disability, and handicap. The second term we need to understand is the word community. Community comes from the words com, from the Latin word com, and mun, Etruscan word munis. So com in Latin means together in English, and munis uh, means to endow or to have exchange of services in English. So probably a lot of us would understand community to be a group of people living in the same place although that is true and can considered a community but the correct definition of a community is that they are a collective body of individuals identified by a common characteristics including geography but it is not limited to it. So a community is a group of people with a shared location, shared environment, and shared faith. Just a quick review, a community is a group of people who form relationships over time by interacting regularly around shared experiences which are of interest to all for varying individual reasons. It can be a group of people sharing a common interest, a common experience, a common concern or values. So let's say people who enjoy playing online games since they share the same interest, they can already be considered a community. 
We also have people who go to Alcoholics Anonymous. These are people who share the same concern, who share the same experiences, so that's already considered a community. We can also consider faith, people who have the same faith like the Roman Catholic faith, the born-again Christians. This group of people called already considered a community not only because they share the same living this in the same living vicinities uh, not only because they share the same geographies but because as long as they are identified by a common character such as interest experience concern or values then they can be considered a community and this is where community health comes in community health includes uh, both private and public efforts of individuals, groups, and organizations to promote, protect, and preserve the health of those in the community. Next is the composition of a community. So it is composed of the people living in it. So these are the interacting organism, the place or the locality, the identity, so it means the sense of belongingness of each and every one or the we feeling. Then we also have common culture in which they share common knowledge, beliefs, habits, customs, morals, and laws governing a place. And we also have lastly the social system in which interdependence of each member of the community each member has a unique function that contributes to the totality of the system. That ends for my part of this topic. Thank you so much for listening and this is the end of this video.